Yes, I think uh, uh, one of the biggest challenges that uh, the local steel plants in South Africa has got is that the plant in South Africa is relatively old if compared to some of the other plants that we're building today in terms of uh, not only in age but in terms of the technology and the technology development that's happened over the last years. <coughs> um, so first of all, um, our local steel producers has got the challenge of lower, much lower uh, Chinese steel prices coming into the market and they've got plants that's running at uh, very different operating costs. Um, uh, so if you've got a plant that's continuously trying to, the sales price being driven down, they have to reduce their operating costs. It's very difficult for them to focus on, on modernizing their, their capital equipment. Um, and we think that if our plants in South Africa, the steel producers in South Africa is going to compete with the international level, at some stage they have to start looking at modernization of the plants um, and, and modernization of the assets that they've got to improve those efficiencies. The SMS Group developed um, uh, concepts for mini and or micro mills with the pro for the production of 150,000 to 300,000 um, tons per annum. These plants are um, uh, beneficial for um, uh, countries with uh, relatively poor infrastructure and um, um, they are then for um, uh, supplying uh, local markets in, in that area. Uh, once you look at uh, developing uh, countries, you, you see that uh, first um, cement plants are installed and uh, they are directly followed by uh, steel plants uh, which produce uh, steel rebar or, or uh, steel bars, steel uh, rods uh, for building houses uh, or other streets also, also um, um, uh, silos uh, made, of, uh, made of concrete. And um, with this uh, relatively low um, capital investments, uh, uh, we can set up uh, on local markets um, uh, small units for first step into the industrialization of that area. Okay, one of the technology and products that we've developed, uh, which I want to share with you today, is called the Hyper Express ex uh, Extrusion Press. Uh, this press is very important to us because it gives you give us and the, uh, the customer the ability to improve their uh, energy consumption. It's actually reducing the energy consumption by 50% and their productivity is also increased by 20%. How this works is on your uh, extrusion press, we now have the ability for the use of the hydraulics only on your extrusion part of the process. So all other auxiliary movements are done by our dynamic servo uh, technology. Uh, this uh, servo drive has the ability to be twice the speed of your normal drives on your current uh, presses and this reduces the dead time or non-productive time of the, of the plant and this is where your savings on um, efficiencies and uh, productivity comes into play.